Hi there, it's Red Items for Mast and welcome to this brand new SketchUp video. So today I'm here with a tutorial on a super useful tool for SketchUp. It's called Suver and it's a super convenient way to share your SketchUp model with others. So let's say you want to share your SketchUp model with friends or a client. Normally you would have to, um, need to have them install SketchUp and you need to make sure that they at least understand the basics of SketchUp which can at times be sort of confusing. Uh, and using Suver you don't have that problem at all because because all you have to do is invite them into the Zoover tool and then they'll be able to take a look into the model. So today I'll be showing you what Zoover works like but I'll also show you how you can actually have access to Zoover and explain the different um, plans. And to get started there is actually a two week trial available so all you've got to do is go to the link in the description which leads you to Zoover.com and from there you'll be able to uh, yeah, register for the two week trial and test out all the functionalities of Zoover. And to get started I'll just quickly explain you what these key points are and at first it is the multi-user functionality because you'll be able to walk around in the model at the same time together so together with your client you'll be able to walk around literally walk around in the model first person to show uh, the client what the model is about the changes you've made whatever you want to uh, show your client uh, and besides that it's all available in the browser which makes it super convenient for uh, the client because they don't have to install the program but also super easy and quick for you yourself. You don't have to send big files anymore because Zoover is able, is able to compress it and also they don't have to have any files on their computer because they can view it in the browser and conversion from SketchUp to Zoover is actually super easy and that's what I'm going to be showing you right now. So this is the SketchUp model I've got for this tutorial and as you can see it's just a regular SketchUp model. And uh, now I'm going to save it um, on the uh, desktop. And now we're at the desktop and as you can see it's been saved here. And here is the Zoover converter. Later on in the video I'll show you where you can actually install the Zoover converter. This is the only thing you've got to download. It's a very easy simple pro uh, program so it's very quick to download, very easy to install and um, opening it. Uh, leads you to this yeah, quick tool then you've got to drag uh, your model in and you've got to click on convert then uh, you have to um, make sure that you save it where you want to save it I've already saved this file for this tutorial so I'm not going to save it or well maybe I can save it just to show you how quick it is and here it says in a few seconds your file will be converted and ready for saving and what is a super convenient tool about or what is a super convenient feature of Zoover is the fact that there is a compression tool meaning that it actually brings the original file size of the SketchUp file down to about 10% of the original meaning that the size of the XR file which it is being converted into is super small and uh, therefore it's uh, very easy to import it into uh, your browser as well because it doesn't take a lot of time. Here you can see that uh, the file has been converted and then now it's time to go into Zoover. So now you go to zoover.com to actually import that XR so that Zoover file into the tool and uh, from there you'll be able to uh, get a look into the model in 3D uh, sort of in the view you're used to from SketchUp but then now in the browser which is super convenient. First of all, I want to show you where you can download that conversion tool. That's here. It's also available for Revit and Archicad. Uh, but today we're all about SketchUp. Uh, for all the versions, you've just got to download and follow the steps. And it's very easy and quick to install. And once you've got that program, you'll be able to do what I just did. Convert that SketchUp model into an XR file. Once you've yeah, converted it, you go to Project, you go to Add. And then here you uh, come up with a name. So let's say... Um, Zoover uh, tutorial house, then here we've got the description. Here you can, for instance, tell your client that this is version 2.0 or what adjust, uh, adjustments you've made to the file. Then uh, you can choose between public and private. The difference is that public uh, provides you with a link and the link can be shared with someone and anyone with the link will be able to take a look into the model, so it's public. Then private means that the model will be shared um, with anyone who's got access to the file and they'll be invited using email, so only people with that email address will be able to get into the model. Today I'll be going for private, I'm uh, pressing add file, you just leave it on scene and then you import the file you just created. That's an XR file and then you click on submit 
Now it's been submitted. Then you go to set start point, and then now it's actually opening the visualization tool of Zoover. This is again super quick, which is actually stunning because uh, you'll see that the graphics of Zoover are actually very uh, much like the um, graphics on SketchUp. It does depend on your graphics card, but uh, for me, it looks very much like in SketchUp, and um, yeah, you're able to walk around. Um, so what that works like is WASD, uh, which allows you, just like in games, to walk to the front, to the back, to the left, and to the right. Then if you press shift, you're able to quickly move quickly in case you want to move large distances. Uh, then pressing the space bar makes it possible to jump in case you want to get over some uh, hedges or a fence or whatever. Then also there's different perspectives. We've got this perspective, but if you go to the camera icon and you actually press the first button, you actually go into first person view. You'll still be able to move. And as you can see, you'll be able to look around just like you are able to in real life. And another important uh, thing to know, oh, I've got to, of course, go to this view again, uh, is that in case you do walk off the side of uh, the file or off the edge of the model, you just press home and then it brings you back to that starting point which you selected in the beginning. There's also a 360 degree view, you've got to press this button for that and that allows you to take a look into the model sort of in the perspective that you're used to from uh, SketchUp. But personally today I'll be going for uh, yeah this view. So now it's time to take a look inside the building, so we're going to look towards the door and then I'll show you how you can actually move through any object. You just press G and that allows you to go through walls and doors uh, to make sure that you're able to get inside. Uh, and G is for ghost because like a ghost, you're moving through the wall or through the door. Uh, and then here I've added some uh, yeah, tables and furniture just to make the house look slightly more realistic. And then uh, as you can see, Zuber knows how to move up the stairs. And in that way, you're actually able to uh, walk around in your model as if it's been built already, which is super convenient. Uh, and as you can see, you can look around um, in both this perspective as in first perspective. So now I'll show you what actually the key selling point of Zoover is, which is its multi-user functionality. So what it works like is you go to the project uh, settings or the edit project uh, menu and here you click on invite and then you uh, type in an email address, uh, the email address obviously of the person you want to share the file with. In this case, it's uh, an email address which I did not use for this tutorial. So I'm going to send an invitation and then what it works like is you have to press the link in the invitation or the person, the client will have to press the link in the invitation. They will register in case it's the first time they're using Zoover and then from there they'll be able to get into the model. So for the sake of this tutorial I've actually split my screen into two. The left side is the original view we used to have and this is the creator view, so my original view and then the right view is uh, the view of the person I sent the file to, so in this case that would be the client. Um, for the sake of this video, I'll also go to first person perspective for um, yeah, the creators for you uh, so that you can actually see the difference between the two. Uh, but what's really cool right now is that you see someone moving and you can see that you're actually in the file at the same time. And that means that, as you can see on, on the right screen right now, the client can see me moving, and now I can see the client moving as well. So in that way, it's super easy to look at the model at the same time. And there's some really useful tools, which I'll be showing right now, which make uh, sharing the model a lot easier. So now, in this case, I'm going to uh, show you what uh, the laser pointer tool works like. It's under this button, the second one, and then um, you've got the laser pointer and as you can see I'm pointing at something and the client is able to see that as well. And also the uh, client has a laser pointer so in that way he will be able to point out things that he thinks is important or at least he wants the attention of the creator to. Um, and besides the laser pointer there's also the, tool, the measurement tool. Uh, so you've got to press somewhere and then you've got to uh, hold it and then in that way you can actually uh, measure. As you can see it creates a yellow line and I've actually tested it and the measurement is um, 
in accordance with uh, the measurements in SketchUp, obviously. Uh, so in that way, uh, it is super easy ju to just quickly check some measurements uh, without actually having SketchUp open as creator. Um, and also the person, uh, so the client is able to um, take some measurements him, him or herself, uh, which is super convenient because they can also walk around in the model themselves without you being around there. They will not be able to change anything, uh, but uh, walking around in it during a meeting is actually uh, the most convenient uh, way to go. And uh, there is actually another super useful tool uh, for that, and that is the um, mic microphone tool. So that's clicking the microphone, and then in case you press on, in this video I'm not actually doing it because it would be sort of weird, it wouldn't really function, obviously, because I'm playing both screens, uh, but as you can imagine, it does work, um, and it is actually sort of, um, instead of having Skype, you can actually uh, have the talking functionality in the program, which makes it all super much more convenient. And also good to note is that uh, you can actually s share the file with um, multiple people. So not only uh, do your viewing as possible, but you can actually share it with very many different people and they'll all be able to walk around in the model at the same time. And besides that, there is also um, the important note that um, you will want to use Chrome if you are using Windows or maybe Firefox in case you're using a Mac because those are the browsers which are um, most convenient for Zoover and in which Zoover works best. But um, yeah, this brings me to the conclusion of Zoover. What is so great about Zoover is the fact that you are able to look into the model using the browser, so making it super convenient, not having to install the program as in as a client and also uh, that multi-user multi uh, aspect of it is super easy uh, because in that way uh, you're able to um, quickly discuss uh, some things you want to discuss with your client without having the hassle of having to share files, uh, problems of not being able to open files and um, having to install programs. And also it's, as you can just saw, super convenient to use. Um, it's super easy to convert a file, a SketchUp file, into a Zoover file. And therefore, um, I would really advise you to use this with your clients in case you've got clients uh, which you use a SketchUp for. Personally, I am actually using uh, Zoover with some of my clients because it is just really easy to have conversations about the design uh, in this way using this program. And especially the laser pointer tool is very convenient for that. There are some more tools, but I'm not going to show that in this tutorial, but there is a two week free trial with which you can actually test out all the different possibilities and all the function functionalities that Zoover has to offer. And after those two week trial or after that two week trial, you'll be able to um, yeah, subscribe to a plan. And then there's three different plans which you can see here, all with different possibilities. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. This is the end of it. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to check out the link in the description which will lead you to zoover.com. And then I hope to um, yeah, see you back in another video later. Goodbye.